Tonight I wanna make a hit record And turn the bedroom to the studio Turn off your phone, this is a closed session Girl, this is what we've been rehearsing for Let's set the tempo either fast or slow You take the lead and I'ma back you up, oh I can make sure you hit every high note we're making love in perfect harmony. Yeah. yeah. Okay, true talent. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. You know, flow, acapella. Yeah. No, no auto tune, no nothing. That's talent, right there. Talent. Good What's morning. Welcome. How you doing? Good. Good. Bro good. Rotimi in the building. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, <laughs> Rotimi. Tell me, what's the story behind you hooking up with Max G and Sergeant Tibbs? Oh, man, you know, um, we're trying to, you know, trying to get a lot of publicity right now with um, with everything that's going on with me musically. And there's no better place to start off with Go Air, so it just, we just linked up and they like my vibe, I like their vibe, and everything worked out beautifully, yeah. Now, they, um, I hear that you are a student at Northwestern University. Yeah, I'm a student. I'm a, I'm a senior. I'm on my last, uh, my last semester right now. Oh. So I'm trying to finish up strong. Senioritis. Man, I haven't touched a book in so, so. <laughs> That's how they usually go. <laughs> yeah, it's so, senior artist. Senior What's your writing. major in Northwestern? Uh, I'm a communications major with a minor in business. All right. Yeah. I like that in you. Yeah, I'm trying. Now, tell me about some things that you have done. First of all, yeah. where are you originally from? I'm from New Jersey. I'm, I'm originally from New Jersey. Um, my parents are, are Nigerian. So. Okay. You know, that alone says why I'm still in Northwestern, so. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so, yeah, so I'm, I'm from New Jersey, and, you know, I came to Chicago about two, three years ago for school. Okay, so that's, that was your... That was the main reason. That's why the I'm main out. reason. Mm -hmm. Why Chicago? Man, um, my mom thought it was a good school. My parents thought it was a really good school for me, you know, okay. and I, I auditioned for the music program, and I got into it, and I didn't know, if, I, at first I didn't know it was early decision. My mom kind of like... Didn't tell me that part. She thought you told me that it was just gonna be another, you know, an audition. But once I got in, I couldn't go anywhere else. Oh wow! So they kind of had you. So they kind of, yeah. She kind of tricked me a little bit. Oh. <laughs> so tell me, what projects have you done so far? Mm, Who well, have you worked with? Um. Well, we just finished my my official single. Um. It's called Already Know. It's me and Don Don Richards from uh, Danny the King. Well, from Dirty Money. Now, I'm sorry. Um, she she uh, she came through and blessed me with a, you know a nice little 16 and uh, it came out hot and that's what we're trying to push right now to the radio. Some okay. real good R and B for yeah, real. Trying, really trying. Anyway, Rotini. Yeah. What is the story? Tell me how was it working with Don? How did you all first connect? Who connect you? You know, be like collab with Don. Well, um, shout out to my management team. My management team, Commission Entertainment. They're the ones that kind of set it all up. Um, we wanted to start, we, we needed to, um, to work on my single, we needed to get like an artist who had universal appeal that could touch all type of races and all type of people. And, you know, Dawn came to mind, you know, with a couple other names, you know, and because she had been with Danny DeCane, she had success overseas. So, like, we probably, we used to say, what could we get, you know, our, our money's worth for it, we're going to pay for it. So, we got in contact with her, uh, her, her management, Twisted Management, and, um, I had a week to write the song before we could give it to him. So I was going through a whole phase where I was like, man, like I like this track, but I don't know. So, And I know I had to write her part, too, and I read it written for a girl. So I wrote it, and we were like, we gave it to um, Twisted Management. They heard it, and they said they love it for her. And, um, yeah, it took a while to get her in the studio to do it because she's doing a lot of things. Like now she, she had to do some things with uh, Rick Ross for the Angels remix or something like that at the time. So we had to wait for that, but um, we talked on the phone a couple times about it, and I explained to her what we wanted, and she got in there and, and did it, and she was cool about it. So, yeah. so what other? Um, so since you've been in Chicago, yeah. who have been your Chicago artists that you like to listen to or hear? Oh uh, well, I'm good friends with Slick, um, R&B Slick. That's like you know I look up to him. We went to LA for the BT Awards together. So, okay. Like, 
we, you know, we, we kind of like came together there. And for those who are not familiar with Slick, Slick is big on the um, adult urban yeah. um, scene. Yeah. If you are, you know, Chicago is real big on stepping. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so Slick is real big on the stepping scene and on the lounge scene. Mm -hmm. And who else? Um, Artist-wise, uh, I met a lot of people. Not really worked with them, but I met a lot of people. I met Hot to Death. Um, I've met Willie from Day 26. Um, I've met Jeremiah a couple times. So we, we, we all, it's, 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 I'm realizing that Chicago is like a really small, it seems big, but it's really small network in the industry. But um, usually I'm just cool with a couple of the Chicago Bears players. You know, okay. So. Uh -huh. Those are good friends to have. Yeah, 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 it's cool, it's cool. Cool Chicago <laughs> Bears. Especially the linebackers. Yeah, yeah. All right, be like, hey. Yeah, hey, man, what up? Man? <laughs> What's going on? Man? So have you performed anywhere here? Um, in the shop, I've done a couple clubs. I've performed in a couple clubs. Um, I did a show at the Regal Theater. Okay. Um, Congress Theater, I performed at Congress Theater as well. Um, in Chicago, I think that's basically a, a couple colleges. So. Now, coming from the East Coast, yeah. way on the Jersey Shores, <laughs> you know, how you doing? <laughs> that's how we talk about. Smoky in there. <laughs> and, you uh, know, coming to the shop, yeah. what, what's the difference in the hip-hop East to the hip-hop to the Midwest? Uh, you still in both, mm -hmm. you know, you still got both major cities, yeah. but there's a difference in the sound and the, the artist. R&B, I'd say R&B out here is more soul. It's a lot of, it's a, it's, it's a, cause it's stepping, you know, stepping by itself speaks for itself, but, but R&B out here is more soul. And, and, and back home, it's more, it's more dance. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's just more clubbish, but back up uh, no, here. That's definitely, yeah, that's definitely true with the yeah. soul in, in Chicago, especially, yeah. um, you know, guys like Slick uh, yeah. have been doing their thing here for a while. And, um, you know, they've just established that sound um, and that sounds also creeped into hip hop. So I'm yeah. putting that stamp on Chicago. We are the soul city. <laughs> there you go. We yeah. are. We yeah. are the soul city. And um, well, major R and B artists. How do you feel about R. Kelly? R. Kelly's a beast. He's he's. <laughs> I mean, he's the don of, of R and B man. Like he the the way he could take anything and make it a metaphor for for making love or whatever. He's he's just. Incredible. He's an incredible writer for other artists too, and that's what I respect about him most. You know that he can hear somebody and then write something, and they have a hit. Yeah, he's he's really? a talented man, very yeah, talented very man. Talented, yeah. Now, for um, you already know who yeah. produced this single. Um, Dutch Money. Uh, I grew up with him. Um, he actually produced my other song uh, called Beautiful Music, and I worked with him on like basically really all my like all my singles. And um, he's he's based in New Jersey, and um, he's incredible. He, he he sings, raps, makes beats, plays instruments. So he's like the whole package. So it was easy to, it was real easy to um, you know work with him because we had that chemistry for like years. Okay, so how how did you all meet back home? Oh, we uh we went to the same church. Oh wow. Uh, beautiful music's been played on the radio. Yeah, yeah. Um, GCI. GCI. Yeah. Um, shouts to all the people there. Yeah. Um, and then you know you got some performances lined up i yeah. know that yeah. you know uh, nationally um what you got going on like what type, are you gonna drop any new singles soon um when it comes to singles uh we're gonna we're gonna wait a little bit you know we're gonna uh -huh. you know get this we're gonna actually get the net this song nationally you know recognized first and then but when it comes to shows um april's gonna be kind of busy um, we're gonna be going to philadelphia uh louisiana um missouri uh, Chicago, so it'll be a lot of it'll be a lot of traveling. That's for like the show. a show a week, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> trying to do as much as I can with school, trying to finish that up too. So, real teamy, thanks for gracing so Thank gracing you. us with your talent. That Thank was you. nice. Thank you. Go, uh, Max G and Sergeant Tips, thank you for just enlightening us with real teamy and all the things that you all are doing um, with Chicago and the local artists. This has been Let's Talk. I'm your girl, Miss Shanita, Vocalo.org, 888-635-1112, 89.5 FM. Yeah. Peace.